Wise woman once said, do you get deja vu? Well, you certainly will looking at this year's River Ridge Boys basketball sectional as three of the four teams were in last year's Eastland sectional, including South Beloit, Pecatonica and Fulton, but with reigning 1A runner up Scales Mound being bounced in the regionals, who else but Eastland themselves would be able to slot in nicely this time around. Cougars looking for their first sectional since 2014. Sobos looking for their first sectional title since 1975. Let's get into the action and it was raining all across Illinois tonight and it was certainly the case at River Ridge as Peyton Spears lets it rain. We're tied at nine to start the second quarter. Then if one is good, then twice is nice. Spears one more time converts from way downtown to extend the lead to five but the South Beloit Sobos had shooters of their own as freshman Colton Porter converts like a veteran to cut into the deficit after all that outside shooting though. Let's head inside as Trudane Peterson gets a strong finish in the paint there over a couple of Eastland defenders. Meanwhile, Porter continuing to flourish as the pass finds the freshman and he will hit once more as this one ties it at 19 apiece. Finally, it's the program's all-time leading scorer, Ross Robertson, taking the double team strong for the finish. And after a tight first half, the Cougars pull away in the second half. They win it by 15 to advance to the Sweet 16. Now the playoff picture is halfway complete in most sectionals across Illinois as most split their semifinals between Tuesday and Wednesday should be another great night in Hanover. Wednesday is Fulton and Pecatonica meet in the sectional semis. Once again, Fulton won that matchup last year, 62 to 51. Meanwhile, in class 2A in Mendota, Rockford Christian falls at the hands of Cinderella as the Tigers of Princeton knock off a red hot RC squad 69 66 but the BNC isn't done down there just yet as top ranked Byron is set to take on Riverdale Wednesday then in a rare weather related delay due to storms this evening Freeport is able to get their game in at the Caneland sectional as they fall 80 to 49 Belvedere North set to go in the other half of that one tomorrow and